the last few months, we've been enduring the harsh winter weather, waiting for the River Avon to calm down enough for us to make the treacherous journey to Bristol Harbour. After a short burst of good weather, we headed to Bath and met up with our friends Bears Aboard. So with a not-so-professionally serviced engine, a shiny new anchor, we made our way down the second deepest lock in the UK and onto the terrifying river. Next stop, Bristol Harbour. Here we go. go. We are officially off the canal out onto the river. So far so good. It's really chill just like a canal but we're not at the fast bit yet so yeah, we're, we're, not gonna, we're, we're not getting too confident. But so far it's looking all right. were really low in the distance. We thought we were going to have to take the chimney down. Look at them. They're <laughs> fine. It's only because it's compared to that one. Does everything seem, seem normal? Yeah, we checked the bilges, they're dry. We're not listing. The water level seems fine at the front. Yeah, we're not too low at the front. No, the engine's going smooth. It feels like we've got a good amount of control. So far, so good. relaxed as I would normally be like once we're going. In theory it'll get harder and harder as we go <laughs> or like scarier and scarier as we go and then at the end it's just like this giant harbour with actual ships in it. It's a little bit scary but I'm doing okay. We've also had a heads up from our friend Cotton Lily on Instagram. She did this this time last year and it was a little bit scary because the flow was quite fast. So she's given us some tips about the weirs and stuff like that and then there was some signs on the locks coming in it was like warnings for the river there's a sand bank past lock six there's a sunken craft past lock four one of the locks might be shut but we called crt and they said it wasn't it's not rained in about two weeks properly and the flow seems fine so we're hoping we're going to be okay so it's a little bit like everything seems a little bit unsure but it's fine nothing's ever easy nothing's ever easy lock number one on the river. So that's the big sand bank. Luckily it's been marked with cones. You can't really miss it. That's from all the flooding and all the silt has just built up. Oh look, there's a big weir there. Oh, that's terrifying. I'm glad I didn't see that before. <laughs> Not looking forward to on the way back though, driving at that and then having to squeeze through there. So that's one of the locks done with the warning <laughs> sand bank. So we're feeling good now we've got that done. And now just cruise into the next one. If you look closely, you can see all the plastic and rubbish stuck in the trees. And that'll be from when the river flooded. The water levels probably came up to about here by the look of it. It's starting to open up now in the countryside. It's really nice. There's a railway track. is fine because we've just seen a paddle border going against the stream and it's fine it's really nice as well it's opening up sun's out well it's trying to come out making good time it's half past 11. gonna pick up quite how beautiful this is. It'll just probably look like green fields to you but it feels like you're in the middle of a Bob Ross painting. It's amazing. Oh my god. Oh we thought that there was the sunken boat was over there because there was another one. Turns out it's right on the lock under The sign for it is tiny. 
close to about here. I'm gonna have to go down the gunnel then. We almost crashed into the sunken boat, but luckily we were able to maneuver around it and carry on as normal through the lock. It's so nice to be seeing new things and just feel like we're proper on the move. And it's sunny. Makes me feel like summer's just a touch away. <laughs> <laughs> Landings are completely covered in sand from where the recent flooding. Crazy. These locks aren't very deep, but they're really long and wide and they take ages to fill. And this one, Swineford, I think it's quite leaky, so <laughs> three of us had to just try and push to get one of the gates open. Some of these are a little bit tricky to get out of. Because you've got a big weir pushing the boat away from the lock landing. Amy's very nimble, she's good at making some pretty decent distances between ground and boat. Time for some lunch, we got pasties, baby bells, crisps and a well-earned drink of juice. So these are the floating pontoons, so when the river level rises they rise up these posts but look how tall they are to say how much they plan on the river to be flooding. That is terrifying. Jeep Safari and there's a little dirt track so I'm assuming you get to drive little cars around and look at the dinosaurs. I want to do that more than I've ever wanted to do anything ever. Shall we just moor there and go and look at the dinosaurs? Scrap Bristol. Don't tempt me. It's Lady Penny Bun. Daddy and Joe. Don't think they're in. <laughs> We think we're coming up to the last lock of the day, which is Hannam Lock. And this is the one that's like, is it closed? Is it open? It said on a sign this morning that it was closed, but we called the CRT only two days ago and they said it was open. So we think that it might just be an old sign. Because it is quite common that we've come across old signs that just haven't been removed yet. Because obviously it takes a lot for someone to come out and move it. If we've come all this way and it's closed, then we're going to have to turn around and go all the way back. I'm pretty sure it's fine. <laughs> There's the culprit. So this gate won't open. And now we're stuck between the gate and this bit of wood. And we can't get the boat back out. Okay, Bear's managed to tow us off, so we're unstuck. And now Steve is gonna try and sneak the other side of the mysterious bit of wood, because we, all three of us have tried to open that gate and it won't budge. So this is the culprit. It doesn't look like much, but we're assuming 
quite a lot of the tree is there which is what we were stuck on it doesn't matter if you scrape along the wall all right yeah The navigation wasn't blocked, so it was only just. You're now leaving the Avon Canal. So, this is it it says Hannam Lock to Netham, the river is tidal below this section. Care okay, must be taken. Although, when we called the guy earlier, he was like, Don't worry, it's not tidal today because I think it's affected by like the spring and the seasons. All of this stress and uh, the section isn't even affected by the tide today, but still technically on tidal waters. Bye bye, KA. Looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Watch out for the riveting tidal waters. <laughs> Quick, Amy, fetch the anchor. She's out of control. But yeah, we're now on water owned by Bristol Council. We're out in the open ocean now. Bye bye, KNA. We'll see you in a few days, actually. Andy's talking to Bristol Harbour. They've just rang him. Over. Hello. So, yep, yeah, they could get me. I'm told them we've just left Hand of Luck. So they've said it's going to be about 40 minutes to an hour to get there. And they're going to uh, arrange for some people to be there. If the guys are there, they will have already opened the lock, or opened the gate, so we can go straight in uh, and they'll lock us through. But if for some reason they haven't yet opened the gate, we can just hold outside uh, next to the wall uh, and wait for them to open the gate. Cool, thank you, we're excited. Okay. I'm a true sailor now, out in the open water. <laughs> Do you want to go driving on the tidal waters? Yes. It's just the exact same. Whoa, whoa! It's, it's fine. <laughs> it's really easy. But we're not saying that all tidal waters are going to be this easy. But this just feels the same. Tidal, we can see on the wall on the walls it's fluctuated a little bit. See look where the water line is and that dark bit is where it can go up to. So it does fluctuate by a good few centimetres. I don't know if we're just being silly, but we're both pretty convinced it smells more like the sea, even though we're still not really anywhere near the sea. Maybe like two percent more like the ocean. Yeah, a little bit more like of a salty tang in the water smell. See that we were so terrified of. <laughs> There's still a paddleboard just really calmly going upstream. <laughs> We've got life jackets on, we're anchored up. Yeah, I don't see his anchor. It's a beach. that's like the entrance into the harbour and that's locked by the lock keeper so we, we had right before this bridge. what was that sorry we're just checking the map because we turn off right soon it might be just before this bridge over okay good to know thank you we didn't know that we would have kept going <laughs> So yeah, well you have to call the lock keeper when you get to the previous lock and that gives them 40 minutes notice to come down and unlock the next lock for you. Hopefully they should be there, ready, unlocked. The bears are just making the turn now. So 
So the Avon continues down there and then we're going into a little channel. We just gotta hover here for the lock keeper to arrive, I think. There's no lock landing, so we just kinda gotta wait and hover for them to come and unlock it. Hope that they come. So we've just waiting now, we've got the boats next to each other, just waiting for the lock keeper to come and undo. Been here a while now, still waiting for the gates to open. Pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do, that's what they said on the phone. Quite awkward to hover here as well, the water from the river keeps sort of pushing us around. If it doesn't self inflate, you should have one Got a twig in my face. Andy's just rung the office. They're gonna be another 20 minutes. Of just awkward hovering. Process. He's here. Just churning up all the silt that's just settled around the boat. We did it! Had our little induction. We've got maps, recommendations, all the rest of it. Really good. The guy was really thorough, really friendly. Now we're on our way to the harbour. Feels like a little holiday because we've got like a map with all the good places. Yeah, it's exciting. So there's a bridge we're gonna have to go under that's quite um, quite low. This is the marker, so we're just chesting the chimney. Yeah, easy. Yeah, we'll fit. It's quite close, actually. It's very close. Shall I take the cap off? set is really nice so we're just kind of taking it in and just having a little mooch around probably only going to be here once so may as well make the most of this amazing weather and we're, we're cruising while the sun's setting this is an enormous boat but apparently that helicopter is fake apparently it's just a ridiculously expensive prop <laughs> we're on to you <laughs> still looks cool though doesn't it yeah it's so surreal 
isn't it? We're doing a little side by side cruise and the sunset. It just feels so good after everything we've done today, all of our hard work. And we're just about to go past SS Great Britain. This is crazy. It's so surreal. It's massive and the weather's, I mean, it's windy, but it's pretty much perfect. It's windy and it's cold, but it's beautiful. one of those moments where we're reminded that we're just taking our little house around this giant like ship harbour. All of our dirty washing, our pots and pans, our little sofa, it's on its big adventure look. There we go, another look at the SS Great Britain. A tiny little house floating by. Wavy, which is <laughs> which is a bit weird. You can feel the boat sort of bobbing up and down a little bit against the against the flow. <laughs> Definitely feels like this. It's so strange. Amy reckons it's exciting. I'm really excited <laughs> feeling it wave like this, whereas it's not so much. It's just so odd. It's so unnatural. It well, feels like we're a boat. Like yeah. it just reminds you that. No, we're, we're actually a boat. Yeah, we are actually floating. <laughs> so over there by those little water taxis, that's our pontoon that we have to moor on now. Try not to crash into the pontoon or the restaurant. You have done it literally on the narrowest possible bit. I know. <laughs> Where there's a big pontoon sticking out opposite. Well Time to moor up, we've just turned around and we're going on to our pontoon. Okay there. Engine's been going 10 hours. Give it a rest. <sighs> well done, Gigi. She's done good. Well done. Okay. Oh, good boy. We made, we made it. it. We're in the harbour. It's so surreal and we're super excited to explore over the next couple of days. It feels like this is one of the coolest places we've been on the boat so far. It's absolutely amazing. Obviously we've just nipped out to get chips. We are both absolutely exhausted so we're just going to eat those and then probably just fall asleep. Since we're in such a special place we're going to eat them on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> it's freezing but why not? Thanks for joining us on this epic adventure. As always, massive thank you to our Patreons. And be sure to subscribe to see what we get up to next. <laughs>